Hello beautiful souls, it's Karen here at So Much Like Inspirations and I'm here with a goddess reading so this is what are your goddess energies and guidance so we've got three piles to choose from and I want you to choose according to the goddess but obviously you could choose all of them if you want, if you're guided um, so we've got some messages for you there I just want to say a big thank you for your love and support right now. I really appreciate that. Um, I've just started a competition for March. So you can win a free reading from me by subscribing, liking and commenting the word love in the comments. And there's more than one up for grabs. So you can get a free reading um, if you join my channel. Really appreciate it. The more the merrier. Um, all my links are down below for my deck shop, my Patreon page and my email if you would like a reading a paid reading from me meantime so we'll get on with the reading so pile one we have the dakini pile two sarada dv and pile three Sarah Lakali. So pick your pile and we'll get your messages. Hello pile one, you chose the Dakini. So this is the enlightened feminine. My gut instinct is wise beyond reason. I trust my intuition to guide me. <clears throat> so if you're not using your intuition right now, this is you know confirmation to start using it. And for those of you that are using it, I feel it's going to get stronger because the more we use it, the stronger it becomes. It's very important in these times to use your intuition. OK, that, as I call it, the inner BS detector that will not steer you wrong. The more you use it, the more it will help you in life. OK, and it's not about thoughts. It's about how you feel, what your feelings are. Your intuition is your heart center, your feelings. So get more in touch with that right now. <clears throat> And we have Freya, the goddess of discernment. I spend my time wisely and I only say yes when it's a holy hell yes. So again, discernment is one of those things that we re really need to uh, use and to really practice. And again, the more we use it, you know, the stronger it can become the way. And, you know, our intuition and our discernment go hand in hand, I feel. <clears throat> follow your intuition and also follow your discernment and it's about a feeling how do you feel about this person this situation and a reminder to spend your time wisely only say yes when it's a holy hell yes so don't be afraid to say no sometimes and we need to honor and protect our own energy because you cannot give from an empty cup and always nurture and love yourself first and spend your time wisely and spend it with people that uplift you rather than drag you down. And we've got Oya, power. So it's time for you to step into your power. And that goes, it's all linked with that intuition and discernment. That is part of your power. <clears throat> really stepping into who you truly are. Stepping into those psychic spiritual gifts that we all have. Taking back your power. Don't give your power away to others. Okay, stay strong. And be authentic and speak your truth, you know, stand in your power. And we have new it, expansiveness. So it's time for you to expand. It's time for you to grow. It's time for you to not stay small, to really expand your energy, to maybe reach out to others, to meet like-minded souls and really, you know, spread the word. As I said, speak your truth in the world, share your truth with others, help others along the path as well. <clears throat> and we have Sheila Nagig, Gateways. So I feel there's a gateway opening. We've come into March now and we've got that very powerful um, equinox on the 20th of March. And I feel that is going to be a massive gateway for all of us. So it's time to step through the gateway, step through for a new beginning, a new version of yourself and be proud of who you are. You know, be strong, be powerful, tap into your intuition, be discerning about who you spend time with. 
So this is my deck, Oracle of Goddess, of the Goddess. So we've got the Greek Goddess Hebe, Eternal Youth. <clears throat> so I feel this is you, or you, or it could be you, like being in that youthful energy, that childlike energy, not childish, but in touch with your inner child, and being youthful in your opinions, not, you know, not being set in your ways, you know, seeing things with fresh eyes. And, you know, you appear more youthful maybe to other people as well. And we have the Egyptian goddess Hathor. Sky, sun, sexuality, motherhood, music and dance. So some of you, you could be wanting to be a mum. Some of you could already be mums. But it's saying, you know, honour yourself as a mum. Or wanting that, if that's something you want. Honour that in yourself. You know, your feelings are valid. Honour your sexuality, who you are um, as a woman. And although these readings are divine feminine, you can be a masculine. And um, we all have the divine masculine feminine within us to watch this. You don't have to be a feminine. We all have that feminine aspect. And maybe music and dance is really going to help lift your energies at this time and help you connect to your authentic self. And, you know find time to do that to enjoy yourself with music and dance and we have the greek goddess gaia mother earth so you could be very grounded or it's time to get grounded to connect to nature you could be somebody that really cares about the environment about nature about you know the animals on the planet and you are somebody that likes to go out in nature or maybe it's a nudge for you to get out into nature more and really connect with nature right now <clears throat> so I wanted to look at some shadow aspects. So we've got Sheila in a gig again, that's strange. Um, desperation. So some of you, maybe you're feeling desperate at some point about something in your life, a situation, feeling that something's not ever going to happen. I'm going to show you the other one as well because I think they go together. And we've got temptation. So I feel sometimes when we get desperate, we get tempted to do things that we wouldn't normally do. And I feel that's where we're going back to using your intuition and your discernment here. You may get tempted to do something that you wouldn't normally do because maybe you're feeling desperate in a situation, maybe a, a lack of finances, a lack of love, whatever it is for you. Okay, but don't let temptation take you down the wrong path okay do that inner work heal this aspect of your life and yourself <clears throat> and honor yourself as as a true authentic person you know don't don't let desperation tempt you to do things that are out of character shall i say for you and we've got flow, Rhea, flow. So go with the flow. And we've got a power number there, 4-4. Four, four. So trust in everything. Trust in the universe. Trust in God, whatever you believe in. Go with the flow of life, okay? When we try and push against it or try and control everything, that's when we can hit roadblocks. So trust the flow of life. Things are happening for a reason. And things will start moving forward, okay, very soon. So just trust in that. And fortune, I feel, again, when you trust in the flow, you have fortune coming towards you. We've got number two plus eight, which is a ten, you know, the end of the cycle, new beginning. So fortune, and I feel that is financial fortune. I feel that when you trust and you go with the flow and you have faith, you're attracting in this fortune, this abundance towards you. Goddess of the Shadows. What you perceive to be your dark side holds a hidden treasure. So yeah, we all have a shadow side. We all have a darker aspect. And something within you, maybe you've ashamed of it. Maybe you've tried to deny it, that aspect of you. Whatever it is for you. But it's saying it holds a hidden treasure. So it's time to look at that, okay? I feel that's what it's telling you. Time to look at this shadow aspect, this darker aspect of you. And maybe that you didn't like or you tried to deny and it holds the hidden treasure, so only only you will know what that means for you, okay? But maybe it's time to do that work on yourself and really look at that aspect of who you are. And Goddess of Knowledge, start to apply what you already know, trust your intuition. So again, it's a nudge, 
and she's got the third eye there so work on your third eye work on your crown chakra work on your heart chakra and connect all these chakras you know do that work on all the seven chakras and apply what you already know trust your intuition so again uh, the more we use it the stronger it becomes it's time for you to start using your intuition more okay and really not listening to outside chatter just listen to your own inner guidance sacred purpose eternal flame ancestral legacy and we've got the number four plus three seven and we're in a seven year so you have a sacred purpose and within you is the eternal flame and something in your ancest ancestral line is a legacy within you so you might need, want to do some um past life regressions you can do them yourself the meditations you can do or see a therapist or a hypnotherapist or maybe just do some meditation and go within but something about your ancestral legacy there could be some gifts and knowledge coming to the forefront um, to help you in your purpose moving forward And we have death and rebirth, darkness to light. So yeah, you could have been going through a dark night of the soul. We all do that, okay? And we have moments of, you know, being in and out of that period. You know, we go through good and bad phases. It's a polarity on this planet. So a death and rebirth. So as you come out of that period of darkness, you come into the light. And darkness is nothing to fear. We need to own it. We need to do that work on ourselves to as i said shine a light on it and really delve into the darkness and as we do this as we really truly know ourselves we are reborn as a better version of ourselves so don't be afraid of the dark because darkness will always be followed by the light so i wanted to finish with a message from kuan yin this is my new deck kuan yin oracle it's a beautiful deck so we've got the blossoms of the sky dancer so let's get your message Kuan Yin dances, creative energy and light across the sky, causing blossoms to descend. In the same way, when we tap into our spiritual power of creation, we cause our life and all of life around us to bloom. Creation is a natural spiritual power within you, beloved. Force can slow down the process. It's time to stop striving and to allow your manifestation to occur. Trust, let go and allow your creation to flow. Oh my God, I love the way spirit, it so resonates, doesn't it, with that other message I was telling you. So again, they're telling you, you know, use your intuition, go with the flow, trust, okay? And that way your manifestations will come into, um, you know, they will come into be. So this is a prayer, prayer to the sky dancer. Beloved Kuan Yin, sky dancer, Blossoming with creation, I am one with the power of the Divine Feminine. I am one with peace, with creation that will manifest. I am love, I am surrendering, I am yin, I am blessed. I let go to receive, I let, it, I let go to flow. Peace in my heart now fertilises my creation to grow. Om Mani Padi Hom. I do apologise if I pronounce that wrong. <laughs> Okay, pile one, that's your messages. Love, love and blessing. Hello, pile two, you chose Sarada DV. And I just wanted to say as well, just because this is a goddess reading, it is for masculines as well, because we both have the feminine and masculine, and I will do a god energies reading very soon as well, I feel. So this is Sarada DV, the Divine Mother. Unconditional love exists within me. The presence of love is the absence of judgment. So, yeah, when we judge others, you know, it's sort of judging ourselves as well, you know, because I love that saying, that the Native American saying, never judge a man unless, or a woman unless you've walked a mile in their shoes. We don't know what's going on with somebody, so we need to detach from that and have love and understanding and compassion for others as well as ourselves. And the more we can love ourselves unconditionally and be in that energy of love, the easier it is to be in that energy with others as well. So that's a beautiful thing to aspire to. 
My Bargo, the Warrior Saint. I am a warrior of love. My devotion attracts resources and support. So yes, be a warrior of love, okay? Not a warrior of war or hate or darkness. A warrior of love. You know, bring in the love into the world. And by being in this energy, you will attract resources and support towards you because you're in that higher vibration, the highest vibration of all the energy of love. We have Jean d'Arc, faith. So it's, e it's easy to say, isn't it? Have faith. But our faith can be tested in the divine, in the universe, in God at, at all times, especially on this planet. And to keep the faith is not easy. But you're being asked to keep the faith right now. Whatever you're going through, keep the faith. Have trust, belief that things will change, that things will get better for you. Do not give up just before the finish line. Pele, purpose. So follow your purpose, you know, and your purpose can be, you know, what what is your passion or what brings you joy, what makes you feel good. And by doing that, you will help others, you know, whatever it is. It doesn't have to be a spiritual practice as such your purpose could be in any any walk of life whatever brings you the joy and happiness and contentment is following your purpose because you're helping others by your energy being in a good energy you're helping others around you Lilith for quality so you could be somebody that strives for equality you could be working on balance within yourself at the moment as well with the masculine and feminine, the dark, the light, the positive, the negative. But I feel that you strive for equality in the world. This is something you could feel strongly about and in your life. And maybe you're looking for that in a partnership or in a family situation. And this is something that, you know, we all need to strive for, to be equal, to not look down or above other people. We're all equal and, you know, having showing that equality to others and yourself at this time. So this is my Oracle of the Goddess deck. So we've got the Egyptian goddess Mut. She was the mother goddess and her name actually means mother in ancient Egyptian. So this is something on your mind, possibly. Maybe you're wanting to be a mum. Maybe you are a mum. Or maybe you've got issues with your mum. Um... Or you're torn about whether you want to be a mum. Okay, but this this could be something on your mind right now. And the Egyptian god, goddess Matt, truth, justice and harmony. Yeah, so I feel you're somebody that feels very passionate about that. Um, you're looking for that truth, justice and harmony in the world, in your life. You know, in a partnership, in a family situation, in a work situation, whatever it is for you. I feel you're somebody that fights for this as a warrior of love, you know, you are looking for this in, in your life, trying to create this in your life. And we have the Greek goddess Hecate, magic, witchcraft, moon and crossroads and necromancy. And necromancy is like speaking with the dead. So I think these days we'd call it mediumship. So you could have these abilities. Maybe you are somebody that practices witchcraft or wic wicca, um, maybe you do moon rituals or you are able to communicate, you know, through mediumship um, with with passed down loved ones or you connect with guides, angels, um, you know, whatever that is for you or these are abilities that are going to come in for you. OK, so just be aware of that. So I wanted to look at some darker aspects, some shadow aspects. So we've got Skylar drama. So maybe you've had a life full of drama. Maybe you've drawn drama towards you. Uh, maybe you've created drama. And I feel that you're wanting to come away from that now. Maybe you've had enough of that because it can be exhausting. And, you know, maybe you were connecting with people that brought drama to you. And I feel that you're learning. You're going to let go of that. Let let go. It's a toxic behaviour. It's a, a learned behaviour. And I feel you're going to let go of that. Uh, negative if that was you or you attracted those people I feel you're going to let go of that in your life and we have Tiamat control 
So again, maybe you have control issues. And again, it could be from, you know, a really hurt place within you. Um, you know, so you maybe abandonment issues or uh, neglect, you know, in your childhood, whatever it was for you, it could be in a child healing needed here. So maybe you to feel safe, to feel secure, you control, you've had to control yourself or situations. And again, this is something that you need to look at and do healing on that issue if, if that resonates for you. We have Mary, miracles, and we've got the number three plus four, seven, the year we're in. So expect miracles. When we believe in that, we will manifest that. So there are miracles on their way towards you, but you need to believe to receive, okay? Carly, liberation, and number two plus six, eight. So that's talking about abundance. So as you believe in miracles and you manifest that towards you, liberation is possible from feeling stuck maybe from being in an energy of lack um, from being in a, a difficult situation you're going to be able to free yourself because of these miracles you're going to be able to free yourself and changing these negative patterns of behaviors as well will give you freedom will give you that liberation from the past which we all need to let go of goddess of oneness Someone you love is thinking fondly of you at the moment. How beautiful is that? How beautiful is that? So the, the first person that comes into your mind, I feel, is the one. But again, connect with your intuition to check on that. But yeah, someone you love is thinking of you at the moment. So it could be, you know, a partner. Um, it could be a family member. It could be a friend. You know, but whoever first pops into your mind when you're reading or listening to this, I think that's the person. Goddess of compassion. Self-criticism is de diminishing your sense of self-worth. So I can resonate with this. So sometimes we do really have a go at ourselves, don't we? We criticise ourselves, we berate ourselves for mistakes, for poor judgment maybe. And it's not really helping you at all. So again, this is a behaviour that we learn. So you need to unlearn that. You need to, instead of criticising yourself, praise yourself, say positive, loving things to yourself, to be compassionate to yourself, love yourself, and be in a good sense of self-worth. You know, do that healing on your soul, solar plexus chakra as well, which is the masculine aspect, actually, the self-worth, the self-esteem, the self-love aspect of ourselves. Touching earth, planting something new. So, yeah, you need to get grounded straight away. And she's touching the earth. So you could be somebody that maybe can do the grid work. There are a lot of people that do the grid work um, on the planet earth. And you could be seeding that, seeding the new earth by doing grid work with crystals or water um, or whatever you work with. Um, and also it could mean planting something new in your mind or, and actually planting something in the earth as well. Maybe you're going to plant trees or grow your own fruit and vegetables. I think more and more of us are going to start doing that. But a lot of it, I feel, is planting a new seed in your mind about the life you want for yourself. And it's time to do that. Friendship, support, fun, unity and play. So there could be some new friendships coming towards you. <clears throat> and these could be part of your soul tribe, your soul group. And these are going to be different friendships maybe than you've known. They're going to be supportive. They're going to be fun. You're going to have unity and you're going to have playful, fun times together. So I feel you're manifesting this. There's something beautiful to look forward to there. <clears throat> So final message from Kuan Yin, sweeping sister willow. So let's get your message. Sweeping sister willow gently brings you healing for forgiveness and release of old pain now. Let her branches gracefully sweep any sadness and pain from your heart and soul. Your time for greater inner freedom is dawning 
and the cleansing sadness and healing of forgiveness is the pathway to that greater freedom now. You deserve this freedom and you are swiftly becoming ready to gift it to yourself with the help of Kuan Yin. So yeah, we were talking about negative patterns of behaviours. So forgive yourself for any mistakes. We all make mistakes. We all do things we regret. We're only human. And forgive yourself and do the Hope and Ono prayer as well. That's a very powerful, and I'm sorry if I mispronounce that, but that's a very powerful forgiveness prayer for self and others. So let's get the prayer of sweeping Sister Willow. Beloved Kuan Yin, Sister Willow, with gracefulness and surrendering to love, you forgave great transgressions against you because you chose wisdom and spiritual growth. You did not hide your anger. You simply chose to let it go and find peace and compassion in your heart. You were free to ascend into bliss. Please bless me that I may draw upon my own wisdom and spiritual strength to forgive and empower myself. Now I allow sweeping sister Willow to gently wash my heart clean. Om Mani Padme Hum. I do apologise, I'm pronouncing that wrong. I'm going to leave it there, part two. Love and blessing. Hello, part three. You chose Sarah Lakali. And also, I just want to say, this reading is not just for feminine people. You know, it's for masculines. Because we all have the divine feminine and masculine within us. Queen of the Outsiders, I have arrived. I am where I will always be in love. So I feel for this part, maybe a lot of you felt an outsider in your life. Maybe you felt an outsider in your home, in your family situation, in school, in work situations, even in friendship groups. You could have felt like an outsider. And you could also resonate as being a starseed as well. Because very often we do feel very different to other people. But... You have arrived. It's our time. It's time now to be and do what we were meant to do. Saint Bridget, Our Lady of Exalted Light, I give endlessly because the light is without end. My soul is all I need. So yeah, we're here, you know, light workers, star seeds. We're here to spread the light. We're he here to be the lighthouses, to be the light in the world, to not get pulled into the darkness to bring in the light to darkness, to bring in the light to dark situations. And your soul is all you need, and everything you need to know is within you. Mart, justice. So I feel that you could be somebody that really strives for justice in your life, um, for yourself and for others. You could be somebody that really likes to get justice for others. You help the underdog maybe in some way, maybe you do this in a work situation or maybe you just do this as part of who you are and you fight for others to get justice in the world in some way. And Morgan Le Fay, magic. So I feel that you are very magical, you have magic within you and you could be just connecting to that right now or you're going to be coming into that knowledge and that awareness and we're all magical beings, we all have gifts and abilities within us and some people are more aware of it than others and if you're not you're going to be coming into that and those of you that are you're going to be coming stronger within that magical essence of you. Kitesh, pleasure. So I feel that this is a message to really find pleasure in your life. You know, don't deny yourself pleasure, whatever that is for you. That's part of the human experience. To ha It doesn't have to be a negative thing, does it, pleasure? You know, you can find pleasure in the small things. You know, spending time with family, eating nice food, um, going somewhere nice, um, enjoying somebody's company, wearing, you know, treating yourself to something nice like a crystal or a book or or, or for me like a tarot deck <laughs> um but find pleasure in life you know do not deny yourself pleasure and we have the oracle of the goddess and also sensual pleasure as well i forgot to say that sensual pleasure is very important as well and we've got the Greek goddess, Nike, victory. So there is a victory coming towards you. Something is going to work out, okay? Maybe you were not sure, um, but you are somebody that, you know, strives for success. 
you you work hard to achieve what you set out to achieve. And with the Norse goddess Freya, love, beauty, fertility, wealth, magic and divination and war. So I feel that you are very beautiful, you're very loving, you're magical as I say, and you're manifesting, if you're not in this wealth energy, you're going to manifest that. And the war we're in right now, the dark and light, you know, you're part of that, you're part of that, you know, light worker starseed movement to bring in the light right now as i said and we have roman goddess juno sky childbirth marriage and new beginnings so if you're not married and you don't have a child this could be on the cards for you very soon we've got new beginnings in life okay and it could involve having a child and marriage or a commitment coming towards you for those of you looking for that so I wanted to look at some shadow aspects. So we've got Azumi, Persuasion. So maybe you have used Guile and Persuasion um, to get your way in the past, um, to persuade others to do things they didn't want to do, something like that. This could be a negative pattern that you have and it, it needs healing. Okay, because it's being open and honest. Maybe you weren't being open and honest with people. Um, and you were, I don't know, using persuasion in some way. It felt like a negative way. Um, but it may not resonate. Take what resonates for you. And we've got our Aradnia defense. So you could be feeling very defensive right now. Your guards could be up. Your boundaries could be up. Um, you know, you could be really protecting your heart right now. And we need to learn to be open hearted, to let those guards down, obviously have, you know, safe boundaries, protect your aura, do the protection, but not to the detriment of not letting anybody in and not being able to share your heart with others. And Sedna, abandonment. So you could have abandonment wounds. And again, this could go back to inner child. So you may need to do some inner child healing on this. So you could struggle in relationships because of these wounds with the abandonment. Maybe you were abandoned by your parents. Maybe they just were not there for you. They were there physically, but they were not there for you. Um, you know, maybe in a relationship that happened, you know, somebody left you. I mean, there's obviously all different reasons. So, again, if this resonates, you know, do some inner, inner child healing. Do some healing work on these issues so that you can bring in that, that new relationship and possibly a child that is waiting to come in. And we have Ishtar Communion 24. So again, I feel you could be somebody that's able to connect with your guides, your angels, and you know receive messages, receive transmissions, um, guidance to help others. And I feel that you want that communion with, with a special person as well. You want it because this is 2 plus 4, 6, which talks about love. And I feel a lot of you, because of the message we had, you are wanting to have that special connection with somebody in a relationship. And look at the aura, look at the glow around this person. And I feel that that's you, you know, you're coming into the light. You're going to be radiating this light as you do that further healing on yourself. And we have AIN, adaptability. So I feel, you know, step into the energy of adaptability. We've got number one again. So new beginnings, like I said. So be adaptable. Go with the flow. Trust in what's occurring around you. Okay, be adaptable. Don't try and control anything. Don't try and stop anything. Just go with the flow right now. The goddess of awakening. This is a wondrous time of exploration, romance and creativity. How beautiful is that? And I feel, again, some of you could be star seeds. We've got the star there. And it's like she's getting messages, like transmission, communication, maybe from galactic family, from spirit guides, from angels, from God, the universe. And this is a time to explore who you are, to go within. And we've got romance and creativity. So again, that's confirming that for some of you, there is romance and creativity coming in. Creativity for some of you being maybe creating a child. And the goddess of the earth, an idea connected to imagination, 
creativity and nature is coming your way. So get grounded, get connected to Mother Gaia, hug a tree, get out into nature. And this will help inspire your imagination and give you ideas and creative ideas. And, you know, really get grounded right now to ground in your energy to accept these transmissions and things that are coming towards you. And go with the flow, letting go, cleansing and receiving. So trust in, um, you know, trust in the process, let go of the past, let go of hurts, do that healing, cleanse your energy, cleanse your aura and open up to receive. As I said, don't be stay closed off, open up your heart to receive, to be in the energy of give and take within the love. And healing earth, the power to give and receive healing. So some of you could have healing abilities and this could actually mean healing the earth. We had that in part two, I think, where you're actually going to actually help here, Mother Gaia. But I also feel it's about getting grounded and healing others, you know, maybe learn a healing modality. We all have healing abilities within us and, you know, do get healing yourself and then maybe give healing to others. You know, because we need, as healers, we need to heal ourselves first and then help others with the healing that they need. So let's get the final message from Kuan Yin. Hear the yellow tiger mother. I love this deck, beautiful images. Sometimes we must be strong and hold true whilst, whilst all around us seems to be shifting and changing. The yellow tiger mother Kuan Yin is a guardian role is roaring her divine sound within you. She asks you to hear her, to remember that you are a powerful being of light. And if, even whilst you're in flow of universal forces, your strong roots help you be at peace with your truth. Stand in your ground whilst your light shines true. How amazing. I love the way spirit works. We was talking about you being a light and getting grounded. It's just amazing the way these messages work. So let's get your prayer. The prayer of the Yellow Tiger Mother. Kuan Yin, beloved yellow tiger mother, I need courage and strength now to be true to myself and allow my own light to take root and grow. Nurture me with your strength of spirit so that I might realise that I have your strength within me too. It is my strength, my courageous heart. Help me, beloved, now to realise my courage and have peace in my heart. I feel the roar of your courage and strength within me and I realise that this is my own courage too. Thank you for helping me realise this, beloved Tigress, Om Mani Padi Hum. And I just want to say yellow as well is the colour of the solar plexus chakra. So you may need some particular healing in that area. So there are your messages. Sending you love and blessings. Take care.